Well, Zest is a back-to-back -back GSL finalist. He won the first season of GSL Code S this year, and now he's here in our global tournament. But he's one and three against Parting in this best of seven. We're going into our biggest map of the pool, Alterzeem. A Parting seems to be so good with these timings where he moves across the map, realizes that there's, a, there's enough units in his army and his opponent's army is just weak enough. And it's this very, very small window, and Parting is seeing it over and over and over again where he's like, okay, you have just too few immortals or you don't have enough units, you're trying to take this risky third, or I don't need this robotics right now, actually, because I'm looking at all the minerals, and there's this little window of time where I can attack with this timing attack. Yep, definitely. And Parting, that's that's part of the reason why he's gotten this far in this match. And Zest has to change to something coming into these next few matches here. It's all down to this for Zest now. He has to win three games in a row. He cannot lose even once. If he does, Parting will take the victory here at the GSL Global Tournament Grand Finals. Round six. Our Teal Protoss player to the top left of the map for KT Roaster. KT Roaster Zeth. The King Slayer. Very serious look, as usual, on the Korean version of Jamie Lannister. Yes. Over here in the top right, in the red. SK Telecom T1 Party. There he is. There he is. There he is. Found him. And I was in the bathroom uh, before uh, these this finals got started. And so were Zest and Parting. And they were peeing next to each other, yep. and they did not say a word. It was really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> There's some obvious tension between these guys, like going into the finals. They well, they don't I don't seem know, too man. Friendly. There's, I'm, there's right at this moment in time, some tension is developing between me and you because you didn't invite me to your bathroom party <laughs> with you went, you the went to GSL like the third finalists. Third floor or something. I don't know where you went. I was not invited to the bathroom party. I would have gone, um, but you know. Bathroom party without me, that's fine. <laughs> Next time I would like to be invited, I'll give you another chance. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Is that a banana? I think it... Is it an umbrella? I, I didn't read what it said in <laughs> Korean because it's in Korean handwriting, and for some reason I, that it impairs said my ability name. to read it. It said Parting's name, but besides that, I didn't... I think it might have said Usan, but I... I don't know. But anyways. Anyways. That was a weird drawing. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it was. It looked like it could have also been like women's underwear or banana. Uh, I mean, any number of things. Like a slightly oddly shaped melon. Yeah. Well, it's a mystery to us. Now this probe taking a almost ninja star shaped scouting pattern on the map. And the reason he goes from bottom right to top left is because the probe of Zest got to his base too fast. So he knows that it's not cross positions. Yep. So he's going to send it up to the top left now and get the scout down. Map is huge. And this map is not your normal PvP map. It's uh, it's so big. And sometimes you can get away with a risky expansion that you wouldn't normally on a map like this. He tried to hide the sentry there. I don't know if you caught the... He put it up there in the top right. And I think the probe got a vision on it for slight seconds. I think he was considering blocking the Nexus with the pylon. Decided not to do it. He's going to go get his Nexus at home. Really similar timings here for these two players. Yeah. On the Nexus. Zess going for double sentry, whereas Harding was uh, going for one sentry. Stargate goes up here for Parting. And a robotics now for Zest. And the Stargate gives you a lot of flexibility on this map to harass, get some damage done early on. The robotics is Zest's way of saying, you are not going to kill me with anything. It's a very obvious 
two parting that Zest has an expansion, even though he lost his probe before it was made. Because he showed the probe. Whether that was a mistake or not, Parting knows. So for him to make the robo here, I think it's kind of like, if you try to kill me, it's one of these timings that uh, you've done so much in this series, I'm going to hold it. And he's going to have, you know, Immortals out to deal with this, if need be. But now he comes in here, Scout, sees that there's an Oracle opening, so he's going to want to keep his Stalkers close and his Mothership Court closer. As the Oracle comes across. Does that make, does that make the Mothership Court your, uh, your enemy, then? No! Stalkers close, Mothership Court closer, you know? Friends closer, enemies closer. Ah, no. See what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I see. Thing is, actually, I misspoke because you want to keep your stalkers closer. The Mothership Core has a pretty large casting range on the overcharge. Yeah, and it's been heavily discussed by uh, people in Balance Threads that are really unhappy. Now, here comes that overcharge. In fact, since the Mothership Core is close enough, and the stalkers, they're closer. You might actually kill this. One more shot. Wow. A little Ouch. bit of miscontrol there. I think it got two, two kills. Yeah, that's it. And if you notice, Zest has put down a, a very sneaky pylon down here and adds two Stargates. We're going to see this happen right now. Sky Toss. It's the, uh, the Choya Phoenixes. The reason I call them this is because once in a very famous GSTL game on the Calm Before the Storm, which is actually basically this map, it's basically this map, except it like slightly differently shaped. Um, then everyone said that map was terrible. For some reason, everyone's okay with this map. I'm really not sure why, but uh, this is definitely my least favorite map in the pool right now. Anyways, on a map like this, you can hide these Stargates in Protoss versus Protoss, make a ton of Phoenixes, and then suddenly come into your opponent's base and kill everything he has. And if you have enough Phoenixes, you can actually beat Colossi straight up. Yeah. Oracles are going to have no chance. Get up to 15, 16, 18. And uh, Phoenixes, you know, they're good against Lightyearness, but they start to do a lot of damage. Second Oracle comes in here, gets two kills. Tries to get a third one, does not get it. Takes a bit of damage there. It's forced out by the Stalkers. Very nice uh, splits by Zest here. Controlling all of his bases here, defending it very well. Also uh, doing a very good job of denying the Hallucinated Phoenix Scouts. Just uh, wants to make sure that Parting has as little information as possible. Oh, one more hit would have done it. Good control there on the Oracle. And he could just use one of these Phoenixes to go kill it, but obviously that would spoil his plan. Yeah. If if Zess or rather Parting was paying attention like so much, he would see that the Chronicles energy is going down, but it's not being used on anything in the base. Oh, that's a really good point, actually. But that's like. He would have to be looking so, so close. Well, he's going to come over here and kill these sentries. Yeah. And he might even actually take an immortal with him, too. Let's find out. Sentries first. And he's just going to go for stalkers because there's such a small count of them. There's the immortal lift. Or no, actually, that's a stalker. Yeah. And uh, there's that immortal going up. Immortal looking silly in the air. It's right Reading outside the overcharge. He's like, no, help. Gets killed. And he's got two at a time, still getting Chrono Boosted. You see Parting, looked like he was mouthing out the words of the F word, but <laughs> I don't think he'd be, I don't think he'd be speaking English in the booth. I don't think so. He's going to be uh, saying some other stuff in Korean as this happens to his base. <laughs> I, I think you're right. This Oracle is found, by the way. Goodbye. Dead Oracle. Templar Archives here. Yeah. Uh, could get a lot of Archons. Archons is the answer. Yep. Can't be lifted. Very good against low health phoenixes, especially when they group up. Upgrade lead for party is only a slight lead. Whoa! Got some of those feedbacks off on the phoenixes. Those phenai actually not able to kill that mothership core. Killing a stalker that was like not even fully phased in. Yeah, still blue. Ground weapons here about to finish for Zest. It's so funny to actually see a High Templar. Um, try to fight phoenixes like that. Didn't get any kills. Speaking of kills, a few probes going down here. It's actually evened out the worker count to 45. And with all the map control as the phoenixes, I'm a little bit surprised this hasn't started third base yet. I think he's scared that there's going to be some weird, you know, charge zealot, archon timing 
that comes across the map, and then he doesn't have enough units to defend. Yeah. I mean, especially... Ooh, he's getting away with these feedbacks. Yeah, very nice so far. I mean, we, we've seen it before, players that go Phoenix, and they just don't have enough on the ground to defend. And then the enemy player just goes for a big push and ends the game, but I feel like on this map, it's going to be a bit harder. And that's why we see Parting Throw down that third. Well, he uh, can't kill the third base of Parting with these Phoenixes. They can't quite lift the Nexus. Even all of them together couldn't do it. You know, I heard a rumor uh, that if you get 110 Phoenixes, you can lift a Nexus. Yeah, but only on Tuesdays. And oh, really? And yeah, it's only, it only works on Tuesdays. Um, and if it doesn't work the first time, just restart the whole game. <laughs> and then try it again. <laughs> and, and the thing is, sometimes it doesn't work the second time either, so you have to try it the third time. But it'll definitely work on the third time. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, you just uh, gotta keep trying it. it. It works eventually. What was the name of that website? Was it like GameCheats.org or something? It's terrible all the things that were written on that website that I'm sure little kids tried all the time. Yeah, I think it was like Game Cheats or something. Continuing game packs to pick off. Uh, yeah, Game Packs was good. The walkers on that site were good. Um, he gets that mothership there. Very annoying, very expensive, difficult to replace. Very comfortably taking that third is zest. It's going to be behind, uh, or no, actually, no. I'm going to stop that uh, thought right there. Incorrect. Same timing here with party. And plus two, Lance finishing here for zest. And he's going to go into Zarkov a little bit later. He just has so many Phoenixes that they don't really care about the cannons. Yeah, they regen shields, they go in and take like a couple of hits and that's it. Looks like Parting wants to go for an attack here. Yeah, at this moment, um, there's about to be a third Colossus. The charge is almost done. These Phoenixes don't have a ton of energy left. He's going to use it on probes here. I guess he's got a, still a few more lifts back in him. The thing you would want to lift here is the Immortals, so that they don't actually do the damage to his Colossi. He doesn't go into Void Rays or anything like that, he's just purely on the Phoenixes right now. Let's see if he can actually make this work. Zealot Harass here is going to draw the army back into the main base, at least that's his goal. And maybe he can hit a, an attack at the third base while he's in the main. Gonna drop those four and warp in three more, but a big warp in back there for uh, Zest, it's going to be more than enough to defend here. Yeah. There come the Phoenix. I was a little bit surprised those are so late to the party. Parting has taken a hidden fourth base during all of this. Prosper's Pros doesn't usually work like this, where it's it's like, well, hmm, he's had that third base for a while, and he's killed a lot of my probes. So I need to take a fourth base, then I'll get ahead. That's usually not how it works, if you take a fourth base, you die. But on all Jazeem Stronghold, throw all Anything the rules out the window. possible. Anything is possible. You just do whatever you want. Well, here comes those zealots. He warped in, and look at this. Warping in a bunch more down here. He actually sees the base with that pile on. He's going to actually... That uh, is so unfortunate. Zest warping in three Archons. That is so much gas that he just lost. But look at this. Going to get a bunch of these probes if he goes for them. This is one uh, small feature for Parting, getting those Archons. Getting a few feedbacks off here as well. He has a lot of Archons he can make himself with those High Templar, he's just waiting to do it in the last second, wants to feed back as many of these Phoenixes as he can. Oh, great forces here. You know, Parting is really trying to to swindle his way into a win right now with this micro. He's like doing everything he can. He's doing it a lot better than Zest is. Zest is playing the numbers game, and Parting is like just trying to do anything he can. He's picking pennies up out of the couch right now to try to come back to this game. <laughs> that he is. Warps in a couple more. High Templar going to make that into an Archon. He's not just looking for quarters, Brendan. Anything he can get. Nice well, here we go. Here Zest. If he can connect with those Colossi, that's everything here. So many Archons ready to be made here. He wants to feed back the Phoenixes instead first. Now he starts those Archons. Damage output here is a lot right now for Zest. He has those Colossi untouched. And his Phoenix fleet, even though it's destroyed, did its job. 
I think that is going to be just way too much damage. Took a gamble. It paid off. Choya Phoenix's man reminded us of Calm Before the Storm. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's all she wrote. That's going to be it. GG. Zest takes a game. Now ups his status to two and three against Parting. Needs to win two more. Parting just needs one more. That was a very technical build. Parting was very surprised by this. But the look on his face says that he's accepted it. This won't happen again. This is a weird map, weird strategy. Yeah, I, I feel like on a normal map, actually, we were talking about this during the break. We actually sided with Parting. But um, just based on the way he was looking and the way Zest wasn't looking. And uh, good strategy for the map, you know, playing to the map. You can get away with stuff like that. So Zest gets the win. Merry-go-round is the map for set six. But this Zest is... says that he has something else to do. <laughs> May have to go to the bathroom. Yep. Yeah, he's got to put his coat away. He's like, oh, hold on. I can't have this coat in the booth. He's like, it doesn't go in the booth. The coat goes on the hanger <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> he just gets up. He's going to go into the closet and hang it up properly, not just kind of throwing it in the closet, but he's going to hang it properly with I'm the rest hanger. of his coats because it's getting warmer outside, actually, and it's time to put that KT Rollster coat yeah. with his winter clothes. Yeah, you got to do that. You got to make sure it's, it's nice and warm and cozy in there. You don't <laughs> leave it in the booth all alone. No, it doesn't belong there. Um, no. Just like the socks go in the sock drawer, Brendan, and... <laughs> The underwear can go in the socks drawer, but it absolutely does not belong in the pants drawer. Even though it's a small pant itself, like in, a, in some circumstances. I don't know about your drawers. Like I have a bunch of drawers in my house, but I don't really use them. Uh, I have some drawers and a lot of hangers. <laughs> and I have. I know about the hangers in your house, man. Yeah, I have a lot of hangers. Yeah, I do as well. They don't really get put to use though. Well, actually, I use like every single hanger. In my house. Yeah. And I have like exactly the right number of shirts and hangers. If I bought like one more shirt, I'd have to buy another hanger. <laughs> if I bought one more hanger, I'd have to buy another shirt. So, <laughs> <laughs> why would you buy a hanger if you didn't have a shirt? Because I don't know. If you got to use it as a satellite or. If or I obtained a hanger for any reason, like. Sometimes you randomly do get hangers. That happens. Every now and then someone will leave a hanger at your house. You go to the dry cleaners. They give you the hanger by accident. You gain a hanger. Sometimes I have that extra hanger, and I'm like, where did this come from? Because I had exactly <laughs> <laughs> the same number of shirts as I had hangers, and there's a spare hanger. A shirt is missing, or a hanger <laughs> appeared in my house. Uh, the shirt thief came to your house and took the shirt. I think the hanger is reproduced asexually, and <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly there's a new hanger in my house. That's <laughs> after it's performed mitosis. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. anyways, <laughs> he's back from the bathroom. I mean, from putting his his shirt where it belonged. Actually, there was there was no hanger. It's back in the booth. It's so strange to me though that he carried it with him to the bathroom, brought it back, put it on his chair. Oh, uh, wanted to be cozy as he uh, did his duty. Yeah, it's cold in some bathrooms. Yeah. Not in this one, actually, particularly, but... Yeah, I like the bathrooms here. Yeah, they're good. If you guys do not know about the bathrooms here, come to be. Come down to the studio. Make some time to come down to Korea as well if yeah, you're Yeah, don't be here. scared to go to the bathroom if you need to go while you're at the Golem Studio. No, it's, it's totally quite, fine. Quite yeah. clean. You might run into a programmer there. This or could two. be our final game here in the Grand Finals of the GSL Global Tournament. Zest and Parting. Two Koreans representing Korea battling it out here at our studio to decide who is the most dominant of these two Protoss.